Hey everybody, my name is Damien. I'm the customer success manager here at Trade the Fifth. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a, a quick installation guide for our Elliott Wave Suite indicator for the Ninja Trader 8 platform. So once you've purchased the product, you're going to get an email that looks a little bit like this. Um, all you need to do is literally click this blue link here and it's going to download a zip file. You don't need to open it. You don't need to do anything with it. Just make sure you make a note of exactly where you saved that file. So first things first, once you've bought the product, you're going to need to get your machine authorized to use the, the platform. So what I suggest you do is you go up here to the help, you're going to click that and you're going to go down here to about. Now what we need is this machine ID right here. So what you should do is copy that machine, paste it in an email and email that over to info at tradethefifth.com. And now that your machine has been uh, approved by ourselves, what we need to do now is install that product onto your platform. So the way we do this, okay, is first of all, we go up to here to tools. We're going to go down, uh, import. And what you want to do is you want to import Ninja Script add-on. Now you're going to get that. So this is why I said make sure you note exactly where you want your uh, Elliott Wave suite saved. So you're going to find that here, we're going to open that and you're going to get a, a message saying basically it's warning you about third party add-ons um, but obviously this one is fine so all you're going to do is click OK. Uh, I'm just going to replace an existing file here, give us a couple of seconds and then obviously it's going to request that you shut down and restart the application so I'm just going to pause this video, uh, shut it down and restart it. Okay, so I've just restarted it. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to bring in a chart. So we're going to go up to here, uh, we're going to click new and we're going to go down here to chart. Click chart here and here we have obviously the different instruments you're going to be using. So if we wanted to, I'm just going to select Apple here for example and I'm just going to click OK and then obviously here is the chart. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to right click on this chart and we're going to go down here to indicators because effectively that's what we're bringing in. Now you can see here you've got a number of different indicators available that you can bring in at any point but what we want are the three so we want the Elliott Wave Oscillator, we want the Elliott Wave and obviously we want the Breakout Stochastic. So to do that we're going to click each one individually, come down here to Configured and click Add and then we'll go down here again, click Elliott Wave and then finally we'll click the Stochastic Add. So that's now brought them in. We are now going to go here and click apply and then we're going to click OK. And there we have it. It's installed. It's all there. Now if you want to do some refinement on perhaps the, the way the lines are, are drawn and everything, you can just right click here, go back down to indicators here, uh, make sure you select the Elliott Wave, just the Elliott Wave here on the configured side and then come across the properties box on the right hand side we're going to scroll down and we're going to get to plots. Here we have the buy line and the sell line. So like I said before, ideally I would say the width no bigger than three. Um, colors wise, I would generally go with more of a, a green. So let's go with a medium C green here. Uh, then we go down to the sell line. We'll leave that red, but again, we'll change that to three. We'll apply that and click OK. And there you have it. Those bits are changed. So one of the other things that we want to do here is we want to isolate the wave count. What this essentially is doing is doing two things. Telling the indicator suite that you believe the beginning of the trend that you want to follow starts at that specific point. Uh, and secondly, you're saying because of that, you want it to start running its algorithm and start counting from that moment. Okay. So to do that, we need to find a recent high or a recent low. Okay, so we're just going to zoom out a little bit here. Um, so we could start from this point here. So all you need to do is you need to hold F5 and left click. So you're going to go below the candle if it's a low point, but you're going to go above the candle if it's a high point. So here we go, F5, and we're going to click here. And as you can see, it's already done its count. One, two, three. And there you go, there's the pullback zone for fourth and fifth wave. We could go further along, but I, I have a feeling it's not got to the third wave yet. So if I was to hold F5 and go up to the point here, 
yeah, we're still on the second wave. It's still waiting to get to the third wave, which is why you won't get uh, any pullback zones. And finally, I just want to go through the data set rules. This is hugely important because if you get these wrong or if you go back too far, you're not going to get the information correct or it's going to slow the system down dramatically because there's so many different uh, algorithms being run. Okay, So if you're doing a chart time frame of 15 minutes or less, you don't want to go back any further than five days. If you're doing 50 to 60 minutes, uh, 60 days really, 240 minutes, one year, and then obviously you can see daily is two years, and if you're doing a weekly time frame, you can go back as far as five years. Uh, but I would say stick to this, and you'll find you won't go wrong. I get a lot of people actually coming to me with these kind of problems, uh, and it's normally going back to the data set rules. So thank you very much for your time, guys. Um, like I said, if you've got any questions or any comments on this video, please feel free to email me. You can contact me at info at tradethefifth.com.